Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Desert Island Short Films. We're very fortunate to have with us today Lily Vosper, the well-known film director, who's going to talk about her three favourite short films. So Lily, tell me what the first short film is and why you like it. Um, the first short film which I really, really love is My Beast Friend, by, which is directed by Ewan Torrance. And I really like this because it's so unique and I've not seen anything like it before and I just think it's really witty and quite funny and unusual and when I had the chance to recreate it I found that it was a good experience from recreating this and I thought it was giving me a lot of different ideas which might help me in the future to create my own short films. So was it the humour that you particularly liked or the style or what was it? Well I really did enjoy the humour because I do really like comedy of course and um because this is such an original kind of humour, it just made me think that um, I. <laughs> it just really came to me that it was just such a clever and unusual film. But I did enjoy the style as well. It was very kind of down to earth, sort of homely, and it wasn't like there wasn't loads and loads of money spent on it. So there's a single joke in the film. Is that right? So the film ends with a sort of revelation. Is that right? Uh, yes, the woman sees him as a real cat, and this poor man sees him as ma as annoying, rude man dressed up as a cat. So he's going to have to live with that because his girlfriend's going to move in with him. Okay, well, thank you for that. Shall we move on to your second choice, which I think is called Rocket? Yeah, that's that's the one. I really love this film because it's just it's so cute, and I also this one's really original. I've never seen a dog build a rocket out of recycled materials before or anything like it. So I really, really enjoy this one. And I think it, it has to be one of my favourites. And the fact that it's got a sort of moral at the end, that you just please recycle. Even though you're not really meant to take it too seriously because obviously it's a dog building a rocket. You make it kind of, it kind of, it's quite good to have a moral at the end of the story. It's got a kind of reason for having this story. So a dog building a rocket sounds a rather strange film. So how how do they make that interesting? How did they actually make it work? Well, they, they made it work with a series of different ideas. I mean, they started off by him looking at this rocket-shaped lava lamp, and the style of it was very also like my beast friend, it was very homely. And it obviously wasn't it was unlikely that it was filmed in a studio. Um I also really liked the music that was in the background because it fitted just perfectly. And they they do, They just filmed it very well and they got the dog to behave really well and he moved all the stuff around and looks like he actually was building that rocket. And so was the whole thing shot from the dog's view or from our view or what? Mainly from the dog's view, but every now and again you get a shot of what the dog looks like from like above, from like the rocket's point of view in a kind of way. But a lot of it is from the dog's point of view, which is also very unusual in the films. Okay, shall we move on to your third choice now, which is Get Off My Land. So w tell us about this and what you particularly like about this. Well, this is basically about this couple who sort of had an argument, and you can tell from the beginning, because um, the woman's sort of storming off. And then um, they come across this farmer who's in his Land Rover, and he's very angry because he says that it's his land, and it's you can only cross his land on a public footpath. And the woman thinks that, it is a public footpath, and um, but he says that there's two public footpaths across his land, and this isn't one of them. So, of course, this sort of throws you, you think, oh, what's he going to do? And then the man says, well, what makes it your land anyway? And so it kind of opens up a kind of interesting idea. And so he has this entire argument with him, and then the man says that um, somebody originally probably fought for it. Um, so the man says, I'll fight you for it, and takes off his jacket, which you all think, oh, wow, what's going to happen? And the man walks off, and you think, oh, he's just cowered down, it's all going to be all right. But then he suddenly comes back with this big shotgun and shoots the man, and then the woman's reaction is just, she's kind of quivering, and there's birds flying everywhere, and so he shoots her as well. And it's quite shocking, but then at the end, he just turns around and says, you know what, I think this is a public footpath. So it's quite funny in this sort of dark comedy kind of way. Mm. So, well, it sounds quite violent. So, how, how did they build up the tension in this film? Well, what is it that, uh, that you know that, that you liked about it from a director's point of view? Well, they built up the tension really effectively right right from the beginning because it's tense between the couple in the first place. So, you wondered if something was going to happen between them. 
But then when um, they have the argument and they're saying, well, who do you get, who did who your relatives get it off and who did they get it off and then who did they get it off? And then, then when he says somebody probably fought, fought for it and there's just a bit of silence, like sort of makes you think what's going to happen next. And as a director, I really, really enjoyed it because it was very subtly directed and it wasn't like too grim and it wasn't, really in your face but it was it was still quite witty if a little bit grim I mean it wouldn't be to everyone's taste when you say it was in your face was the camera literally in their face most of the time um well there, there was a lot of face shots but they were never extremely close apart from the farmer's face and then when they're having the argument is quite close and intense which also because of the claustrophobia then builds up even more tension Okay, well, so if you could only take one of these films uh, with you to our desert island, which of the three would it be and why? I think it might have to be Rocket because I just love the dog and I just think it's so cute and it's really heartwarming and it's really cheerful and really, it's just lovely and funny and I just think it really works really well so that would probably be the one I would take. Okay, well, thank you very much for that, uh, Lily Bosper, and thank you for letting us hear your Desert Island short films. Thank you. Bye.